I'm Matt Blanchett, Anderson Vision. I'm here today with the mayor lead of the new film just got released today, um, Cult Killer, uh, Paul O'Rido. Paul Reed. <laughs> Paul Reed, yeah, yeah. Paul Reed, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> Paul Reed plays um, Dermot, who's a uh, detective uh, working at the Garda, uh, who, when an old friend dies, uh, basically comes um, into contact with uh, one of his, uh, well, uh, he was a mentor to a character played by Alice Eve, and slowly the two of them become enmeshed in this larger plot. Mm. So, um, I'm, Very well said. I'm going to rub that off you because it's hard to describe it. That's really well said. <laughs> it's hard to describe without giving to Giving it. away. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what drew you to this project in the first place? Well, um, I was aware of it. My, a friend of mine, a casting director, um, Claire Curry, uh, told me that it was coming up, that she had this uh, coming up, and she said it's really exciting. And the people involved are very exciting as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just think the script, when I got hold of the scripts eventually, it was just... It's a real page turner, and I know that's a cliche, but it really was because I didn't know what the heck was going to happen next. And uh, it, it chops and changes, and, and the structurally, it's completely different. So it jumps into different time timelines, you know. So um, it, it was really, really exciting. Again, trying not to give the plot away, but uh, that's that's pretty much why. And I just think uh, McMahon, my uh, detective character that I play, is really good fun. It's really exciting, and I think what well, I like to think. That it's my, it's what I would be like if I was a detective. I'd be pretty by the book, but willing to bend the rules for the right reasons, you know, to get justice and to get back at people, whatever, yeah. you know. Uh, how long did this production wind up taking to shoot? Were you able to get all of your scenes in in like a couple of weeks? Yeah, it was actually. It was a couple of weeks. I think it was four or five altogether, um, from what I can remember. Um, yeah, but it was pretty breakneck speed as well. And in terms of how John Keyes, the director, um, it was just such good fun on set. Right? He is just the crack. And he's he was very relaxed, but yet we got so much done. Every single day we, we, we nailed it. You know, he had a tight crew that he brought over and working with the Irish crew over here. They were just really match made in heaven. So, yeah, man, we got through it. We finished early some days, which is unheard of. Wow. You know, yeah, because he just knows what he wants. He just goes, yeah, that's that's we got it. Let's that's OK. And were you were you really were you happy to be working in such an Irish you know obviously it was shot in Ireland you know so yeah. local crew local you know locations and all that sort of thing so were you you know happy that you got a, a chance to display you know Ireland you know even if you know yeah. a small picture like this yeah a hundred percent I mean listen Matt it was ten minutes down the road from my where I grew up so uh, that's it was really kind of an honor to kind of show off the area in a sense you know, I live right beside the sea and or a group beside the sea and it's a beautiful place to be and yeah the crew i knew i knew quite a lot of the irish crew just from being around for so long um and they I swear, like when you get an irish crew on something and i know because i'm biased here but they're just great fun but my god do they work hard so it's, it has a great balance of both and then you have john key's crew who he brought in and yeah as i say it was a match made in heaven everyone just kind of really got on well and had a great fun and uh, yeah, but displaying Ireland, as you say, in the light that it is, it's it looks gorgeous. It, they did such a nice job. It does. It really does. Mm. Uh, were you um, excited when you came onto the when you came onto the project? Let me rephrase that. When you came yeah. onto the project, um, were Alice Eve and Antonio Banderas uh, already attached? Yeah, I mean, like that's that's the thing. I I came on pretty late um, in terms of that stuff. So. Uh, I just heard, you hear through the grapevine, oh, Antonio Banderas is doing a film. Who was it? Alice Eve and, you know, Shelley Hennig. And you kind of, whoa, oh, Jesus. Okay, that's coming to Ireland. Cool. And um, so then, yeah, as, as I say, my friend Claire Castro, she, she mentioned it to me and my agent. And uh, everyone got pretty excited by it. And I know everybody that was going in for it was really excited by it. So, yeah, first day, first scene, sitting the opposite Antonio Banderas. Like, I was just there going, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> strapped in. Here we go. And you, you weren't a little just, star. You weren't starstruck or anything. I mean, Antonio Banderas, for Pete's sake. You know, it was in hindsight. I kind of was, Matt, if I'm being honest. But sitting down with him, uh, I sat down with him, and it was, you know, we we're as the same breakneck speed. It was very quick. I was my first scene, very early in the morning, and all that stuff. Mm. And I sat down and I said, "Listen, John, um, John, what are we talking about? Listen, Antonio, and I need to, uh, I need to run this scene. Do you mind?" And 
He was absolutely no problem. And he's just there. And he's every bit as charming and as cool as you kind of want him to be, you know? So I was really, really su not surprised, but I was pleasantly, uh, yeah, I, I, I wasn't surprised, but sometimes you meet, you meet your heroes and it's not so good, you know, but this was different. He, he's a big theater man. I do a lot of theater. So he was very much interested in talking about that. And, um, and, and interested in playing with the actor. He's all there for you, complete focus. As with Alice, as with Shelley, like it's their focus is is unrelenting um, in terms of what they want to get from the screen and to share and to play and basically have fun. But it comes from the top as well. John, I think, got on really well with him. And uh, yeah, it was it was just such a pleasure. I was starstruck after, though. Yeah. <laughs> were you uh, were you able to, you know, sort of get, you know, a sort of chemistry, a, a good sort of back and forth with Alice Eve very quickly, considering how quickly you shot? I mean, did you have like yeah. any any uh, chemistry testing or just you just right into it? No, just the chemistry was there. It was just this kind of thing where we all went, uh, okay, we have to do the scene now. And hi, here's, this is Alice. This is Paul. And, but luckily I knew a few of her friends. We have a few mutual friends. So I knew her, obviously I knew her as an actor, but I knew her as, um, as a person really, regardless of being an actor, that she was pretty cool and very funny. Like she is really funny. And we got on well straight away. I think our characters have to get on straight away as well. So that kind of helped in the terms of just pushing us into that kind of uh, into that place of being comfortable with each other. And again, I was learning loads off her. So I was just watching her really going, oh, OK, you know, you never stop learning. Was there uh, a particular moment in the film that you were really excited to play as an actor? I mean, it can be anything, it, nothing, obviously nothing spoilery, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm a detective, which is pretty cool. And I was running around a castle with a gun. Like, you know, it just, <laughs> like, yeah, that's just cool. Uh, you know, I felt like a kid again. And as I said, this place was 10 minutes away from where I grew up. So we used to go to this castle and, uh, and run around and, and play whatever, you know. So uh, I was kind of living out my, my childhood fantasies there. But like also Alice is really badass in this. Like she can kick ass and uh, she's very good at that. So I was kind of going, can I not just try hit the guy? And she's like, no, <laughs> I'm hitting uh, the guy. I mean, you're pretty badass too. Don't, you know, uh, don't put yourself down. So. No, thanks. Yeah, no, I appreciate um, it. But yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just going to say that. And I, I love driving around when I'm shooting stuff as well. I don't know why. I just think you can't not be natural when you're driving because you're literally driving a car. If you have, <laughs> if you have to drive it, that and eating, you just can't not fake it. You know, so it's. Uh, I really enjoy driving into this whole this castle and coming out with the gun and you know being being that guy. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Um. Now that the picture is out, I think the picture is out uh, today. Yeah, uh, yeah, what do you What are you hoping people get out of it? You know, when they see it, who, what sort of a audience are you hoping it finds? Yeah, I think. Well, I think they're really going to enjoy it because, I, obviously, look, I'd say that, but I really do. Even reading the script, I was enjoying not having a clue what was going to happen next. And then when I got to watch it, I watched the screener, and I was like, "Oh my god! Like, how are they going to? I didn't know how they were going to do it." You know, obviously, I'm there. I was there shooting for most of it, but I wasn't there for all the scenes. Um, there's also a great Irish cast in it, which um, I think really get to uh, an American cast, but the cast that I know for a long time through theatre particularly are, are really getting to, to show their chops on, on screen as well, which I think is really exciting. It's great for, for the Irish industry. It's a really great time, obviously, but it's um, it's cool that people are getting to uh, to express themselves in these ways and real. Yeah, I think that see, it's hard to talk about the plot or to talk about it without giving away the plot. But I think they'll be excited. It really rattles along. It really flies along. Each scene is breakneck and you just don't know what's going to happen next. It's really good fun. It's gruesome at times. It's a great date movie. You know, it's good fun to go and see it. And Very great it, date movie, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Am I just being sick? Is that, maybe it is. I don't know. It's a good date movie. But, <laughs> yeah, put, that on the, put that on the poster. Great date movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and Ireland is absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, all the locations mm -hmm. are just, and Irish actors are some of the best in the world. So, and you see, yeah, that on, you see that on full display here, you know, the cast yeah. is knocked out of the park. Yeah. Great. Thanks. I really appreciate that. And I, yeah, it's, it's just great to see some of my colleagues that I've known for so long getting to do these kind of parts and to act with the likes of Alice and Antonio and, and Shelley. And, and we're, you know, look, I, I'm name dropping here but, but, but John as well, but uh, yeah, getting to work on a great script. It all starts with the story. And I think that's what, what drives the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's enjoyable. So now that um, now that Cult Color is out, um, what projects do you have coming up in the future, if anything? 
Yeah, I do have uh, quite a few actually. I had a quite a busy year. Um, I have a busy year ahead of me now as well, which is great. Um, a lot of stuff. I'm in Dublin at the moment, uh, but a lot of stuff is shooting in Ireland at you know at present. So uh, that's great. Um, uh, I, I'm hoping to get back into theatre. I did a play just recently, uh, which I absolutely loved, and I forgot how much I loved being on stage and working with people on stage. And you know, um, I do quite a lot. It was called Somewhere Out There You, and it was in the National Theatre of Ireland called the Abbey Theatre. Oh, um, so it was, oh it was the a, Abbey, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's it's a really, really cool theatre. Very high quality stuff, so it was great to get back into that. And very funny, and I forgot, I like doing comedy. I love it as well as the serious stuff. And um, yeah, I think, I think I'll be getting into a bit more comedy, particularly on stage soon. And then I have a lot of music as well, weirdly. I'm doing a lot of music, but I have a TV show, uh, two TV shows coming out uh, this year and another film. So I don't know when they're going to be announced or what the hell is going on with them. But you just got to wait, wait, I think, you know, sure. Uh, uh, and I have to wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you're filming right now. I'll be filming. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe in three weeks or something like that. Yeah. So okay. kind of in, right. in prep for something now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, in three weeks. Jeez, I just scared myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, yeah. I mean, well, you're great in this film. So, and I'm looking forward. Oh, you're looking. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, whatever comes your way, whatever work uh, you've got coming. I'll be looking for Paulo Rito. I'll be looking for Paul Reed. I know. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, I'll be checking out your name and seeing what you're doing. And I really hope other people do too, because you're great in this. And if you're great in this, you've got to be great in other stuff too. Oh, well, hopefully. Thanks so much, man. A great interview as well, by the way. I have to hey, say, it was really fun. I try, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I mean, um, I was a little nervous that I got here early, so I didn't want to screw oh, yeah. up my end. But, all right, thank you so much. Uh, the film is Cult Killer, uh, directed by John Keyes, starring Paul Reed, Antonio yeah. Bandanas, and Alice Eve, and Shelley Hennick, and is, is out on video on demand and in theaters, I think, as well, uh, hmm. today. January 19th, 19th January. So uh, I'm Matt Blanchett. This has been uh, an Anderson Vision interview. And um, looking forward to see whatever you do next. Thanks, man. I appreciate it so much. I really do. Thank you.